Weber Traveler LP Grill. It's got a built-in thermometer, extra-large 187 square inch side table, a cart lock, porcelain enamel cast iron cooking grates, automatic lid lock, and a removable grease tray. It's the Weber Traveler LP Grill. We're putting this together today. It's a present for Sharon for her RV. It's gonna be one, two, three. Take a quick look at this. These must be the grills. Very heavy. We have here a quick reference guide. That's the one that was meant for me. A drip tray and a replaceable disposable pan. Just like with the electric one. Solid rubber wheels, very good. Before we get started, let's go down the checklist, see if everything's here. Looks like everything is here from our parts list for the Traveler. Let's start putting it together. Okay, step number one, I'm going to take the axle, it goes right into this spot right here, Very noisy. And then we've got our two blocks like such, assuming that'll go through the hole and then into there. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so we've got the same thing on both sides right now. Next is going to be a wheel on each side. I would assume it's going to go with the hub towards the axle. And we've got a pin for that. Okay, same thing on the other side. Oops, slippery little bugger. Okay, caps are next. Let's see now. Good. Sweet. Now I'm going to lift her up. Let's see how that goes. I should be able to operate the camera and pull this up at the same time. This is the Weber Traveler, one hand set up and fold. So the first thing to do is to release the lock, get that out of the way. Now, under here, you can't see just yet, but there's a little handle. I'll show you later when I have it pulled up. Put your foot there to stabilize, grab the little grip, release, and up she comes. There's the click, one-handed, and one foot. They don't mention the one foot, but you do need a foot. So it's really one handed and one foot set up. It's not a bad deal, right? One, two, three. About right here is the release lever. 
So, one-handed folding for there. Release the lever, and down she comes. Now, when she gets down to the bottom, the lock comes up and engages. So with one hand, you're ready to travel. It looks like the bottle hooks up right here. Right here. Now they have an adapter to go to the RV that we have to get. Okay, the next item is the drip tray and the uh, disposable pan. Now if you look under right here in the front, there are two rails, one and two. The drip pan slides directly in on those. Easy peasy, no problem. Okay, the next step is gonna be to put in the cast iron enamel coated grills. This side has channels to direct the heat from the flames to evenly heat the grill. And this side is for nice even, it gives beautiful grill marks with these cast iron grills, really nice. The very same thing that they have on the electric version. The electric version is just a bit smaller. This is a nice size. It's good for the whole family. Thank you for joining me today. I appreciate your support, everybody. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscription button in the corner and the little bell next to it so that I can notify you of upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Now all we have to do is to hook this up to an LP source, one of those little bottles, or we can actually hook it up to the propane source on the trailer. That's going to be the home for this. This, this is going to be the RV LP grill. For when we go boondocking, we've got plans for some boondocking next summer near Lake George, New York, uh, in, a, in an old, old-fashioned state DEC campground. And this is going to come in handy for that. Okay, to fold this down, right under here on your right hand is a little release. Just release it and it folds right down. You don't even have to hold the weight, it goes down very easily just by itself. Ah yes, and as soon as it comes down the lock engages so that I should be able to lift this and travel with it one-handed as advertised. I didn't touch it with this hand. Yeah, very nice. This should roll right up our, our tailgate ramp up into the trailer. I'll be able to secure it right down to the floor gonna work out real nicely. I got this in a four pack. It came very quickly. I, I ordered it and it came via US mail. Make sure the threads are all good. Okay, perfect. Now before we do anything, I want to make sure that we turn this to the off position by pushing in the dial and turning clockwise until it gets to the zero. That's the off position. Okay, we're gonna install the propane bottle. This is a one pound propane bottle. I removed the cover already. I'm gonna hold on to that for when I remove the tank later so I can put it back on. We just wanna line it up with the threads. Be nice and careful not to cross thread. It's going nice and smooth. Now what you notice is when I put this bottle in place, this little lever right up here went up. With this lever being up, you cannot disengage the cart and make it fold down and collapse it on the bottle. It's a safety. There's no way that you can collapse this table right now by hitting that button. Okay, we're gonna get it on there, squeeze that in. Okay, nice and tight, not too tight. Okay. Once we've got the propane bottle in there nice and tight, the safety mechanisms are in place. I've got a bottle of soap and water. You give a couple of shots to the connection where the bottle meets the regulator and where the gas meets the valve. Now what we want to see is no bubbles, no gas leak, everything looks good. We look pretty safe to turn it on. Okay, I cleaned out the bottle. This is just straight hot water. I wanna get that detergent 
away from all this metal. Some of these detergents can be corrosive. Yeah, I've left a little bit of car wash soap underneath the trunk lid of your car. You can see it does damage to the paint. That should be clean. All right. So this mini tank is ready to be tested. Now, in addition to the mini propane tanks, I ordered from Weber the six foot adapter hose so that I can hook up to a 20 pound propane tank or I could hook into the RV's propane supply. Now the RV is currently up having some warranty repairs done at the dealership so we won't be getting that back for a while. So uh, I'm just gonna keep this in storage and I'll be using it in the future, that's for sure. But there'll be nothing different about the performance. We have the one pound tank in place. Let me show you what this looks like. It's got one connection that would go into a 20 pound propane tank or again the, the LP source on our RV. And this, which is an identical connection to the one on the uh, one pound tank. It's a nice, it's by Weber. It's well built. It's a perfect fit. And six foot should be more than enough to give us room to work with it on the RV. Okay, next up is going to be our official test firing of the LP grill. I'm going to take it outside for that fun. Okay, everybody, I went and got Sharon. This is her present, and I have it all put together. This is our first test run of her new LP grill by Weber. Give it a try. First, open the grill. The propane bottle's already been installed and tested for leaks. It's all good. You want to push that in, turn counterclockwise to the light position. Boom, right there, and click. Wow. One click. Wow. That enamel coated cast iron grill. Way down in the bottom is a disposable drip tray. And we have to close this up for about 20 minutes to bring it up to about 500 degrees. That's what you should do on your initial burn. Okay. So do you know what time it is? It's about 3.30. Okay, we'll be back when we're at 500 degrees. Pretty sunset. We're going to use the new grill for the first time tonight. We already did the first burn for 20 minutes, brought it up to 500 degrees, so let's cook dinner. that heat up to 500 degrees. When the grill is preheated up to 500 degrees, it's brand new clean. I'm just gonna give it a wipe down with some olive oil. Probably don't have to do this. This is enamel coated cast iron grill, so it's probably non-stick, at least for a while. It's a brand new Weber Traveler, ready to start cooking.
winter weather in the forecast. It's getting a bit windy. It's really cold out. But this thing is handling it no problem. I think the chicken's done. I butterflied it so it's pretty thin, so it cooked pretty fast. The zucchini's gonna take a little bit longer, but that's okay with me. I'm gonna pull off the chicken now. Okay, I'm gonna play with the zucchini a little bit. Maybe I'll move it over into where the chicken was, get some of that flavor. Okay, we got a grilled chicken with grilled zucchini and some white rice. Fine dinner, first dinner on the new Weber Traveler LP Grill. Thanks everybody for stopping by, pushing on that button, spending some time with me today, making dinner on the new grill. Mm, now I gotta clean that off. They recommend the simple stainless steel wire brush. I'll let it cook for a little while and I'll come clean it up with a paper towel. And go eat my dinner while it's still hot. It's freezing out. <laughs>